I am Donna Lewis, Advanced Practice Provider with the Palliative Care Group in Zanesville, Ohio. I work with the Genesis Medical Group. Uh, palliative care is a specialty practice that assists patients that are struggling with some advanced life-limiting chronic illnesses. Some of those illnesses can be heart failure, COPD. Um, we assist with goals of care, symptom management, advanced care planning uh, to discover what the patient's um, plans are, what their goals might be, what they do and what they do not understand about what's going on with their health. The benefit of palliative care to our patients is that we help with symptom management, symptoms that they struggle with, whether it might be breathing with COPD, anxiety, depression, uh, multiple symptoms that really kind of um, cause some difficulty in their everyday life. The additional benefit of having palliative care on board while you're seeking active treatment for other disease processes, whether it would be cancer or lung disease or heart disease, is there are symptoms that are hard to manage and need to be followed a little bit closer by certain specialists. And the palliative care is a specialist that can follow you, whether it be every two weeks or once a month in your home, in the office. We also follow in the hospital sometimes when you're in the hospital, just to man manage those symptoms a little more effectively. There are many struggles that a patient under palliative care uh, with these disease processes can endure. Some of those struggles could be physical, emotional, spiritual. There are many components to palliative care. We have a pastor that's on board. If a patient is struggling with some spiritual distress, um, he can meet with them. We also have social workers that work with us so that if we have resource management or burdens of care or barriers of care, whether it's transportation, money, those sort of things that they can meet and uh, look into community resources and connect the patients and the families with those resources. The reason palliative care may meet with you in the home is because it is a burden for you to get to the office. Often people that have respiratory problems spend one to two hours getting ready in the morning just to be able to be up and about, and it would be an extraordinary effort for them to get to an office visit. Persons that would benefit from palliative care can include COPD patients, heart failure, someone with liver disease, kidney disease, advanced disease processes, someone under active treatment for cancer. Uh, you can still continue all of your active treatments and yet have palliative care on board. There are persons that are out there with neurological disorders such as dementia and multiple sclerosis, uh, Lou Gehrig's or ALS, all of those patients could also benefit from palliative care services. Palliative care is not hospice. Hospice is a comfort focused plan of care to the natural end of your life. Palliative care can come on board with persons seeking active treatment for cancer. Um, we work with other specialists just as an extra layer of support for you, whether it be in the home or in office visits as well, or even when you're in the hospital. Palliative care is available for all ages. We have persons from 16 to 100 on our services. We can be on board for as long as you need it, whether it would be short term until your symptoms resolve or for long term needs. While palliative care is there for the patients in the home, we're also there for the families to support them as well. A lot of times when we have patients with dementia, there is a lot of caregiver burnout. We can talk about the social worker coming into the home, targeting some resources in the community that might be helpful to assist in the home, whether to get the caregiver out and about and give them some time for themselves. Just a break here and there is extremely important in those situations. To receive palliative care services, usually it's a referral from either your primary care provider or other specialists. Uh, it's pretty simple. If you feel that this is a service that you would benefit, talk to your primary care provider. As far as insurance coverage, most insurances do cover it, whether it's Medicaid or supplemental insurances. If you have a specialty charge on the back of your insurance card, we are a specialty practice. It would be the same copay for a specialist, whether it's your cardiologist or whomever that might be. 
When I talk to my patients about what palliative care means to them, uh, there has been many different responses. One of them said to me, you know, you help me keep on track. Um, it's good that someone else understands what I'm going through because my family doesn't. You help my family to understand what I'm going through. And sometimes I don't even, I'm not even sure what I'm going through either. And you give me some understanding as to what that is. The most rewarding part of my job is being able to form relationships with my patients and my families, finding out what's important to them, uh, what gives their life meaning. What I would like for the community to know is they don't have to struggle alone. We're there to support you, whether it be um, for pain management, symptom management, an extra ear, listening, you know, whatever the struggle might be, emotional, physical, we're here, here as an additional support.